Hey guys, today I'm going to present EMO Shortlist 2021 Problem N1. Firstly, let's have a look at the problem statement, which says to determine all integers n greater than or equal to 1, for which there exists a pair of positive integers a, b, such that no cube of a prime divides a squared plus b plus 3 and a, b plus 3b plus 8 divided by a squared plus b plus 3 equals n. This statement motivates us for, to make a substitution because we see that this expression in the denominator of the fraction equals that one. Therefore, we substitute c equals a squared plus b plus 3. Our expression for n now becomes n equals ab plus 3b plus 8 all divided by c. We have now introduced a third variable into our equation, although we only have two degrees of freedom. Therefore, we will replace one of a or b with the other two variables. But we see that a is not a polynomial in b and c, because a is equal to the square root of c minus b minus 3, which is really not good for us. On the other hand, b is equal to c minus a squared minus 3, which is a polynomial, and therefore we will replace b in our equation to obtain that n is equal to a plus 3 times b, but b is just c minus a squared minus 3 plus 8, and all divided by c. Now we simplify the fraction a plus 3 times c over c is just equal to a plus 3. And what is left is some polynomial in a divided by c. Uh, we collect the terms in order of their power. So we have negative a cubed minus 3a squared minus 3a minus 9 plus 8, which equals negative 1. And this is nothing but negative a plus 1 cubed. So we have that n is equal to a plus 3 minus a plus 1 cubed over c. So this is really good because we already know that no cube of a prime divides c. But since n is an integer, c must divide a plus 1 cubed. And combined with above expression, we get that c must also divide a plus 1 squared. But that means that n is equal to a plus 3 minus a plus 1 times a plus 1 squared over c, where a plus 1 squared over c is just some integer. We can go through some cases. First of all, this could be 1 then n equals to 2. So this is one possible solution. We see that this is in fact a solution because plugging in a and b equal to 2 yields this result and also 2 squared plus 2 plus 3 is 9 which is not divisible by any cube of a prime. Therefore n equals 2 is actually a solution. And in all of the other cases where this is not equal to 1 but rather some larger integer, then we would have something like n equals to a plus 3 minus a plus 1 times k, which is less than or equal to a plus 3 minus a plus 1 times 2, which is equal to 1 minus a. And this is less than 1, but the problem states that n must be more than or equal to 1, which contradicts n is less than 1, and therefore n equal to 2 is the only solution to the problem, and we are done.